All right, guys, today I have an exciting video for you guys. This is the AMVR table tennis attachment that you can actually add to your Oculus Quest controllers or, of course, of course the Oculus Rift S as well. And um, I actually had one of these before. Um, uh, I got sent, like, a one that, you know, when this all first started, people were 3D printing them and, and figuring out ways on how to do this. Uh, but the 3D printed one I got, like, you needed to screw it in every single time. Like, you needed to get an actual screw from Home Depot and screw it in, unscrew it in every time you didn't want to use the controller and stuff. So it wasn't as convenient, so I kind of didn't use it at all. Uh, this showed up at my door, and I was excited because it came from AMVR, and I usually love all their stuff. And I was excited to see how they made this thing and how much better it would be versus the 3D printed version that are always floating around out there. So uh, let's go ahead and dive in and take a look. Gaming tech, eating brekkie is the gaming tech, going for a brekkie is the gaming tech, gaming techie is the gaming tech, gaming techie. So as you can see, when this starts here, they give you these grips, these red and blue grips that go on the top here for some protection to your controller, which is actually cool. I like the color design of red, blue. So I'm definitely going to keep these on here, add some little bubbles and stuff. So if you hit your controller against the wall and add some added protection uh, to the controller. So... I'll definitely be keeping these on here but of course what we're talking about here is this paddle we're talking about here so you can see i already attached it but this is my most impressive thing about this is how easy this is to unattach so there is a button here at the top that all you do is you slide up and it releases the latch your controller is now up in the up position and then this bottom part that sits here you kind of just pull it up and you're done that's how quick it was to take out now, obviously, I have these straps that are a little bit annoying, but if I wanted to, if I didn't have these straps and I just had the regular ones that most people have, these, when you put this in here, all you do is you stick it, there's this hole over here, you just stick it in there, you hold the uh, latch that's above here while pushing in, and that's it, you're done. Uh, it's in here, and the latch is in there, and this is ready to go, and this does not fall out and stuff, and I'm going to show you some gameplay so you guys can see exactly how this works in table tennis when you're playing on the Oculus Quest. So you guys get a feel for what it would look like and what I think when I'm actually, you know, playing with it. But that's as easy as it is to get this thing on here. This thing is great. Uh, for $20, you can get this on Amazon right now. You get the grips and you get this table tennis thing. And it is really, really cool. Um, and I'm going to say it again uh, for those people who are always like, why would you need these 3D printed accessories? Like, you're not seeing this in VR. What would make the difference of you having this if you're not really seeing it? I'll tell you right now, it makes a big difference, at least for this table tennis one, because... This racket at the bottom that you're now holding now feels like a table tennis racket. And with the added weight on top and you're swinging around, it now feels like you're actually holding a racket in your hand. And when you're in there and you see the racket moving around, now that you're actually holding an actual table tennis handle as opposed to a controller handle that obviously feels like a controller, it adds to the immersion because now you think you're actually holding a table tennis racket and it makes a big difference. Um, it lets you have more fun in the game. It lets you be more immersed in the game. And for me, for one, with how easy this is to put it in and out, uh, when you want to play with it, it's going to make me want to play in the Oculus Quest because as far as I know, I don't think there's a version yet or probably, I don't know if there ever will be for the Index, which is where I play the, uh, the table tennis game the most. But this is going to want to make me play the table tennis game on the Quest just so I can use this controller and this piece attachment with it. And, and that's saying a lot because I play the table tennis game all the time and it's one of my favorite games in VR and this just added a whole new level to it and it was a really simple thing. This is basically exactly how the 3D printed version that I bought, I wanted it to be like simple to put in and out when I want to use it and stuff because obviously we play other games besides table tennis and that's exactly what this offers and for $20 when the 3d printed ones used to cost way more than that and you can get this now for 20 bucks on Amazon and get these grips guys it's a no-brainer if you guys are into table tennis games on the Oculus Quest do yourself a favor and check this out the link is down below and of course I'm going to show you guys some gameplay now and there is a tweak you need to make in the settings to make this show up correctly since your controller is in an odd position. So I'll show you that here in the gameplay now so you guys know what setting to change and how the gameplay is like. So let's go ahead and do it. All right, guys, here we are in the tennis game. So I wanted to show you guys real quick a couple of rounds of this. And also real quick, the options. If you go into the settings on here and you click on the paddle settings over here, you'll see the paddle position. Make sure that you change this to VR adapter so this actually shows up correctly in the game. If you don't do that, it's not going to work correctly. So make sure you do that. And we're going to come in here. We're going to do some single player here against the AI. Guys, this thing feels great um, in your hands. It really feels like I'm holding a paddle. It doesn't feel like the controller is going to fall out or anything. It just adds a whole new level of immersion into the game compared to the way it was before. And uh, where I was using... I usually play this game with the Valve Index, but if we're comparing it to the Quest when you're using just a controller, uh, the controller feels good, but it's obviously not, not a... Uh, you know not a paddle and for those people who like to come out here and say like oh but you don't even see the paddle 
why would it matter? Like, you don't see the paddle of your MBR anyway. Well, that's not the point. The point is that right now I feel like I'm holding, instead of a controller, I'm holding the end of a paddle here. Uh, so it feels like I'm holding a paddle, and there's more weight to it. So now I feel like I'm holding a paddle as I move, and I feel like I'm holding this grip at the bottom. So the level of immersion increases. You don't need to see it. It's just that it feels heavier, and it feels like you're holding the edge of this paddle now, which makes it feel like you really are holding a paddle, that even though you can't see it. And I'm starting off really well here. This is what happens when you try to play ping pong and talk at the same time. Because I'm pretty good at this game. I play this game all the time online. I usually, I'm usually like a little above 50% every time I play. Um, so not bad, but not super great. That was a terrible shot. But yeah, this thing's awesome. For the $20 that you can get this, this thing for, uh, it's well worth it for sure. Like, I'm not playing without this anymore. When I when I want to play this game, I'm going to want to play it on the Quest now because I don't think they make... I don't think they make an index version. Uh, and it wouldn't... Pro like, getting the index controller on here would be a, a way different in how that would feel. But this is going to make me want to play it on the Quest just because this feels so good. Let's see if we, can go, we can get a win here against the AI. Not gonna get a win doing that, that's for sure. Ah, oh, I knew he was gonna hit the table. Why did I look at it? Yeah, we're not winning this game. Four to ten. Great showing. <laughs> Definitely wasn't a game to showcase my skills. Like I said, it's hard to play when you're talking. Um. So yeah. That gives you guys a good idea of what this controller looks like and feels like uh, in the game when you're playing and with the option you need to change and stuff. So, highly recommend it, guys. For $20, you can't go wrong with this. This is awesome if you're into table tennis. Check these out. They're on Amazon for $19.99. If you guys have any questions, as always, leave those questions down below. If not, thank you guys for watching. Till next time. Tech, gaming tech, is the gaming tech, gaming techie. Gaming tech, eating brekkie is the gaming tech, going for a brekkie is the gaming tech.